Okay. A special KRFO interview with uh, with a guy that's got to be one of the biggest Viking fans in the area, if not anywhere. Todd Walkingstick joins me to chat about a couple of Viking things, and we know, Todd, that you're also a big follower of local sports with the uh, Beyond the Game uh, features that you do at OatanaLive.com, and uh, th- thanks for your time here today. Yeah, my pleasure, Roy. Thanks for having me. Now, you're, you're a big Vikings fan. What's the history there? What got you into supporting the Vikings as much as you do? I don't know where it really started. Uh, it started when I was young, but I don't know the reason. And, you know, I moved to Oatana in 1987, and it was close to Mankato, and I start, I went to school in Mankato State, and things just kind of start happening. And 24 years later, this might be my 24th year of training camp in a row. Training camp is coming up, and I'll ask you about that in just a moment. But you had the chance to tour, as many people did, the new U.S. Bank Stadium for the Vikings. What did you think of it? Right, there's no words to describe it other than just unbelievable. I was, supposed, I am going August seventh, also <laughs> as a season as a season ticket holder. But my daughter got me some tickets yesterday as a surprise, so we went up. Um, not knowing, I mean, I've seen pictures on Facebook of people, but I, to see it yourself, to walk into that, it's a billion dollars, and it's just jaw dropping or it's just you can't even describe it it's huge so uh, can, how would you begin to compare it to the previous home then for all those many years the metrodome how do you how can you compare the two well actually i was kind of, i was kind of a fan of the metrodome i really liked it but um now it seems like it was never there <laughs> i mean I, I i've gone up every month roy since um the dome has imploded and i've taken pictures so i've been watching the progress of the stadium so I got a big old photo album of uh, from day one to yesterday. Wow. Go on. And it's fun. I, it just seems like the Metrodome was never there now. I mean, I was told, I was, I've heard it's, uh, you could fit one and a half domes inside the new stadium. I've heard two Metrodomes. I don't know. Either way, it's just, uh, I don't know if I can even picture the Metrodome inside that. Hmm. And I know you've already stated it's hard to kind of describe, but but do a little bit for us if you could for people who didn't go up to take a tour of the facility. You know what what's it going to be like for a fan who does go in there, okay. finds their way to a seat. How would you, how would you kind of give a little virtual tour? Well, you know you walk in these. I don't know the measurements of the doors offhand. Mm-hmm. Huge opening doors. You walk in and you're right on the concourse. You can mm-hmm. go left or right. Um, the concourse is well. It's just way bigger than the Metrodome, and I don't know the measurements per se. I just know it's wider, and it's got your uh, section numbers. You look left, you look right, and then it's you straight ahead. When you walk in, you're coming in from the west side of the stadium. You walk straight into the big doors, and the field is right off the concourse. I mean, okay. you walk maybe 100 feet, and you're at the top of the first level, and you're looking right down on the green with the purple end zone. It's amazing. Now, as I've looked at some pictures online and on Facebooks and things of that sort, it, it, the pictures give me a little bit of uh, uh, an idea that you're a little bit away from the field, but you're saying as you get in there, you do feel like you're right on top of it? Yeah, I do. And, you know, I look down down to the right, and I could see, it's like the Cowboy Stadium, how they have seating for people with the big bucks that, you know, because they're actually on the field, they have tables set up for them. <laughs> And it's, it's incredible. You have to see it yourself, but it's round tables with chairs around them, and they're on the sideline, be the visitor sideline. And actually, it's on the Viking side. I, t- I take that back. It's okay. under the glass side, uh, which is our seat part, by the way, that we're under the glass of the stadium. Wow. So, yeah, you look right down, and um, I actually went down to the, to the end zone. You can, you know, go down to the first row, and you're just right there. And I was trying to, because the benches aren't set up yet, but I'm trying to envision a bench at the I don't believe there's a lot of bench area that, you know, the fans are going to be right within feet of the players. Wow. I could be wrong, but I'm just, you know, I'm trying to imagine because the benches aren't put in yet. Okay. But I can see the space from the, you know, the, the white line marks of the sideline mm-hmm. to the first uh, row of seats, and it's not a lot of room. So they say this will be the closest NFL stadium to the players, and, you know, I can close my eyes and imagine exactly that. It, I can't believe, I believe people will be feet away from the players. Wow. 
Well, boy, <laughs> all the reviews seem to be great for the stadium, and, and, and the team will be playing in there before too long. So I, I'm talking to Todd Walking Stick, a local sports supporter, in addition to being a huge Minnesota Vikings fan. What do you think about the team this season, Todd? Is it going to put a good uh, product on the field for the fans that pack into their new building? And yeah, right. This is right. You and I talked a bit off air. Uh, mm-hmm. One of the questions I get is they hurt, they let you down a lot. How can you be a fan? Mm-hmm. You know, it's hard to disagree. I was at the New Orleans game in 2010. I was there. Mm-hmm. I was at the Atlanta game. I was. Um, I've been to several games. So I was at the Seattle game at TCF. So I've, I've had three games at. <laughs> but you know what? The next year comes, and I'm I'm so excited. Even though we lost to Seattle last year, I saw progress. I saw Bridgewater. I saw the you know the whole line is. The off season, they got um, Boone from the off uh, pre agency. Um, now today, Phil Boatholt retired. Mm-hmm. I was kind of excited for him, but now that's out of the equation. But I, I think the offensive line, to me, is the key for a lot of things. I mean, you're running game with Peterson. Um, you got to protect Bridgewater, and if we do, I, I think right with the new stadium, I, I think that's going to give us just a eight win edge right there. And then you know you got to win on road, of course, which is tough. Mm-hmm. But I think the first home game alone is going to be the key to the whole season. It's a Packer game. <laughs> Imagine. It's just going to be so big for that game. I, I mean, I can't predict the future, but I just can't believe they're going to lose. I just, they got so much riding on that game. And then, the, you know, the first game is at Tennessee, and that's a game you cannot overlook. Tennessee's building, and those are the games that scare me because those are the games we come in and think, this will be an easy win, and then you lose. <laughs> you got to come home one and all. 